Nothing to my peers to find. Who knew when he running up my spine? I climbed up the grit and grind. It's my time. I was meant to shine. What's up, y'all? This is a video I didn't expect to make, but I was looking at my Facebook Messenger and there was a person that had sent me a, a message and a friend request like I think a year, or maybe two years um, back. It was it was a, a female that I knew in elementary school. So this is, a, a, you know, a really long time ago. Um, and I, 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 to be honest, like I forgot a lot of people from elementary school. There's only a few that um, kind of left a mark on me. Um, and so, but the name r r run a bell. So I was like, you know, we talked a little bit. And I guess she was like interested in me. And at first she was acting cool but then she got really weird and crazy and so I kind of like was like kind of like st stop talking and when I, I like I say a lot of people say crazy we they overuse that word or weird they overuse it but like she was really acting like weird and crazy and um yeah and so like just about an hour ago, I seen that she had was still sending me texts that I had never read, and so I checked it out, and um, yeah, it was crazy. Like she was saying, like how she, I guess she looked up my information on the internet or something, and she kind of like had a old my old phone number, and she was like talking like she was like driving by my the old house that I used to stay at and then she like and she was just talking crazy and just like and you know she was mad or whatever and I was like really nice to her so it was just wild like but and then she was always she was making these wild texts about how she been with like all these guys and and how it's good that I didn't accept her friend request because people are crazy. And if, if I would have accepted it, she would have been like, hit me up every day and just, and she's like, so you're lucky I'd be like, she was, and she was really mad and like, just like, just hated me. And, and then, yeah, she was just saying all this wild stuff. And then she was talking like, are you intimidated? Are you scared yet? Cause she was talking about like how she was outside of my house. I mean, it's just funny because it's, it's like, you know, people be thinking they know you. It's like, do you really think I'm scared? Like, d like, and she's like, I know this about you and da da da. And it's like, I don't care about that either. I'll fucking talk about it on a podcast. I'm not like ashamed of shit. You know what I mean? Like that. So, um, yeah, but it's just like, yeah, just talking real crazy. And she mentioned something about bully like how she bullied me and and how she like she said she kicked my ass or something or whatever and I'm not really sure you know I can't I, I can't remember but I do know that I got bullied a lot in elementary and middle school And, and so, like, I forgot about a lot of that shit. And so it's like, because, you know, I'm not kind of like, you know, I felt like I was over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't thought about getting bullied in, in, in school and shit in, it, in a minute. But she reminded me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I was going through fucking hell. You know what I'm saying? At, um, at that time. I might have people on my friend list that remember. You know what I'm saying? Um, a couple of them. You know, the ones I remember. Um, but, like, um, yeah, like, and a lot of the people that bullied me, a lot of them is dead now. Because they were just crazy. 
like that. But um, yeah, and, and you know, but like, I'm glad she reminded me of that because like I've been doing like shadow work and, and dealing with like healing and stuff that I, a lot of stuff that I've been through because I've been through so much since then that I haven't even thought of that shit in a long time. Like I, I briefly talked about it in some of my old songs but never got into it, you know, kind of like, but as I was like getting into shadow work, like more recently, <coughs> a lot of this stuff that we've been through is what shapes us and gives us like trust issues and certain issues and, you know, certain psychological issues. So, and a lot of times we, we think we've gotten past stuff because we're not thinking about it we're dealing with the present what's going on you know i'm fucking grown that was when i was a little kid but that's the stuff that shapes your psychology and so when i think of how i am and the issues i have you know that's something that i probably need to revisit that i definitely need to heal from and i'm glad that came into my conscious mind at this time so I can like realize like oh yeah I, I got some issues some of my issues that are still affecting my psychology comes from that you know and I also want to make this video because it's like you know I don't really like open up and talking about this type of shit you know it's personal but like you know I know a lot of people deal with bullying like in, in, in my era wasn't no internet it was all just like you know more just like when people talk shit it was just confrontational in your face you know they get physical with you you know maybe you got your app you, you know got fucked up whatever you know what i mean it wasn't like over the internet and i'm not minimizing none of that i'm just saying um yeah, it was, it was personal. You just you got fucked up. You got your ass whooped. You got talked about in front of everybody. And I'm sure that still goes on today. But, um, yeah, like, that affects you. And it affects your, your perspective of the world. You know, our experience shape our perspective. And so a lot of the issues that I, I still have, you know. And I also want to let people know if, you're, if you've went through that or you're going through that, if you're younger or whatever, and you're watching this video, just know you can heal from that. And also know that people were fucking with you because, not because you wasn't shit a lot. You know, it was because a lot of times it was jeal it's jealousy and they see your light and they hate you for that. You know what I mean? You know, it, it, it'd be like, and me, I was like kind of naive. Like I didn't realize my blessings. I didn't realize like I was shining when I was shining. I didn't recognize when like the 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 girls would like me. You know, but a lot of the guys recognize saw under saw it and they'd be jealous. Even some of my friends. And so a lot of times your friends, you know, will they'll be your friends to an extent, but they'll also be like hating on you and jealous of you and putting things in your mind to kind of like fuck with you. You know what I mean? So they'll be kind of like enemies in a way. And so, and then you have the people that, you know, might be jealous, jealous of you because you're a good person, jealous because you get positive attention, jealous of, jealous because you're like, kind of like, I was like happy-go-lucky, people like me, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. And I didn't really understand jealousy at that time because I wasn't a real jealous person. So, you know what I mean? I, I didn't understand, like, why is everybody fucking with me? Like, why is all the, like, the little gangster little kids that want to be gangsters, why are they all, like, fucking with me? You know what I mean? And so, yeah, that takes a toll on your psychology. Because it, it wasn't, like, the physical stuff. Even when, like, I, I would get in fights with the kids that you know was picking on me that wasn't the, sh the physical stuff didn't really bother me because it was like i was kind of like a rough like kid like i wrestled i like wrestling I, I i did karate at that time like 
the physical stuff didn't like hurt me. Like I could just shake that off. You know what I mean? It was more the like psychological shit, the shit that people would say to me, like the fucking cruel things, like, you know, you know, like when the people was making fun of you, like for like, you know, they call me albino and, and just make me think I was ugly, make me think I was stupid and, 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 and all this shit. And so, and because like at that time, like, you know, you're a kid, you're vulnerable to stuff, especially if you're not prepared for like that kind of hating and shit. And you don't have a firm confidence, which I didn't have at that time. So it got in my head and it gave me complex, you know, it gave me like kind of a complex, you know what I mean? And so, but I just want to know, let everybody know if you're going through that, that you can heal that and you can overcome a lot of that, but you have to face it and, and you have to reprogram your mind. Because at that time when you're young, your, your mind is vulnerable to being programmed. So everything you're experiencing in life is, is programming you. So a lot of our low self-esteems and insecurities, people might see us when we're, we're older and be like, why is that motherfucker so insecure? Why is that chick so insecure? She's so beautiful. Well, a lot of times you don't know they went through something when they were younger and it just kind of like shapes their psychology and their perspective of stuff. But I just want you to know if you went through that or you're going through that, you can reprogram your mind to to be confident and to overcome that, those psychological wounds that, that we kind of go through. So that's why I wanted to kind of open up about it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you can heal from it and realize what it is. The majority of the time it's because you were shiny and people will like hate on you. And that's why it's like, people will hate on me, like hating on me is, is, is ridiculous, especially at that point because it's kind of like, I've been through so much hell you know, like that it, it's just kind of like, I win just a little bit, the tiniest fucking bit, and niggas will hate on you, your, your fucking friends, it's crazy. You know, I had that issue with kind of like my best friend, you know, that I met a long time ago. It's like, how are you fucking hating on me? You're rooting against me? Of, and you know all the shit I've been through, all the shit I've overcome? It's one thing when people don't know, you know what I mean? They just think you always have, you have a good and they see you in a good mood, so they, but it'd be like, you're hating on me? You know the hell I, I've overcome. Anything, any little bit of thing I got, I've fought for, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like, yeah, so it's like, so, you know, when it seems like people like is fucking with you and you don't know why, like it just seems so unfair, like, like, I, I treat people good. Sometimes people are just hating on you because you're light, because you are good. And so I just want to say that, especially to like the younger, anybody that's younger that's watching, like the darkness is attacking you because they hate your light. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so realize that and, and, and that can help you. And also realize you can reprogram your mind so you can see yourself clearly so you can see yourself in a more loving positive way because i you know i of course at that i didn't until like realize i can unprogram my mind and i could heal myself you know through once i got in like my the 30s i started that started that because but i just want y'all to know that you can so it's like a lot of those negative stories you have in your mind about yourself are a product of the bullying amongst other stuff. Like I talk about other stuff, you know what I mean? That program your mind in a negative way. But yeah, so a lot of times you're not seeing yourself clearly because you have those, those programs in your mind that people put, that maybe kids, people put in your mind. And it's, so it's got you seeing yourself in an unhealthy way and people when they see you with wounds most people are just going to judge you and talk shit they don't realize you've been through fucking hell you know what i'm saying um and so but don't let that bother you 
you know, let people talk, let people judge. That's kind of what people do um, when they don't know nothing. Um, but um, yeah, just just realize you can overcome that, and, and and you can reprogram your mind. And so, you know, and that's why, like, as much as crazy shit as the girl was talking on the text and trying to like just talk shit and just da 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 for like you know um for whatever reason and saying she was stalking me maybe she was just saying that maybe she really was driving by my fucking grandma's house or or whatever uh uh because she was like i'm about to go up and knock on the door or whatever you know she was just saying crazy but i'm you know but anyway I appreciate her because she brought that to my awareness. Like, oh yeah, you was bullied. You did go through that era. You like, because we get older, and a lot of times we kind of forget about that shit. We've been through so much since then. As like, oh yeah, that's right. And so as I was doing, sh- like I'm doing shadow work now, it's kind of like, yeah, maybe I need to like dig into that a little bit. Maybe some of the trust issues I have. Maybe some of the things I have, anxieties, whatever, anger, you know, maybe they're a product of that. And so maybe I never really got into it to heal, you know, because that's why shadow work can be tricky because sometimes it's stuff in your subconscious mind that your conscious mind forgot about, you know what I mean? And so it takes, sometimes it takes people or situations to realize, oh, this is why you have these issues. Sometimes it takes people triggering your trauma to remember like, oh yeah, I got trauma. Yeah, I got these issues. Yeah, I got that issues. So a lot of times when you're unconscious, you see it as, you know, if I was unconscious, I'd be like, man, this bitch just coming to just whatever. But now I'm looking at it different. I'm looking at it like, oh, she reminded me of, you know what I mean, of the, all that bullshit that I went to, that caused me so much fucking grief, and I need to deal with that, and then once I deal with that more, then I'll heal, and then I'll feel better, and I can be even my best, my better, my best self, you know what I mean, or whatever like that, and so, yeah, I just want to encourage people to, like, that, that went through that shit, that, you know what I'm saying, like, you can heal yourself. You can heal that. You know what I'm saying? You can overcome that. But you got to be willing to face it, look at it, and realize my perception was diluted because of that. And then you get, and then you can get um, a more clear per- perception of, of reality. Because that shit fucks up your perception. And then once you have a fucked up perception, a lot of times you attract fucked up shit and so you heal that you heal that in your subconscious because if they fucking destroy your self-worth and psychologically you know fuck you up and then you think you're a piece of shit then you're going to attract stuff that reflects what you believe about yourself until you heal that and then you'll start to um, manifest a new um, you know reality but yeah that's it on the video i just want wanted to talk about that you know what i mean because i think it's an important issue a lot of kids are going through that and there's not a lot i don't see a lot of people like um opening up about stuff and that's why like yeah like i'm opening up about stuff and it made me look yeah it made me look it might make me look bad or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's what we need, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if everybody just pretends like they've never been through nothing or don't want to open up about nothing real or hard, then that's why nobody heals or nobody, cause, and everybody thinks they're alone and shit, and it's like, you're not alone. Like, there's a lot of people that have been through that shit. And if you made it out of that, then you should help other people make it out of that. That's why my channel, even if it doesn't get a bunch of views, it might just get two views. Maybe it helped two people. 
I'm cool with that because I'm not like I don't want to do this shit for clout. I could just talk about you know whatever, like entertainment, and I will. But you know, I want to talk about shit that really really helps people. Because you could sell a fuck, you could have a billion subscribers and not really help nobody. You just entertaining people and that's helping away, but it's not helping people heal. You know, maybe a little bit, but yeah but that's why i think i want to like talk about shit like that this stuff that's difficult to talk about you know what i mean but yeah you you ain't alone you can heal look up shadow work or or just know you're not alone you know what i'm saying and just know those people was lying you know what i mean you you got all you attracted all them demons because, you know, not because you're bad. Because they hate the light. All right, that's it. Peace out, y'all. I be stopping my videos so abruptly sometimes. But, yeah, whatever. That's how it is. Peace.